Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It took me a while to build this deck because I wasn't sure how to balance it, but here it is. The last phantom card deck built around it, basically. Sorta of, kinda built around it. I call it the swap meat deck. I got water critters, I got colorless energy. So it's very, it's gonna look kinda similar to my, I guess you could say story deck that I was using in some aspects. But I'm gonna go down to the bottom and actually start there. Here comes Team Rocket as the last Phantom card. This player plays with his or her prize cards face up for the rest of the game. Now, even though I'm basing the deck sort of around this, I've only got three copies instead of the max of four. Because you only need to play one. <laughs> any, any drawn after that are dead weight. So you just want to discard them with Professor Rogue or just... Uh, Say swap them as another prize card using this is the combo Trickery Rotata. Once during your turn before you attack, you may switch one of your prize cards at the top card of your deck. This power can't be used if your if Rotata is asleep, confused, or paralyzed. But you know, we're gonna keep it on the bench primarily. And so, what you can use this is combine it with being able to pick cards for that, and yeah. <laughs> So that, that should be pretty nice. I also got Dark Radicate to try something different here. Because I got all the double colorless energy, so it's kind of like 1 for 20 anyway. And then possibly maybe say 2, quote unquote, for 50. You know, Hyper Fang, but it may do nothing as well with my coin flips. I probably will never want to use that. But <laughs> uh, also because I'll be picking prize cards, I should say swapping around with prize cards and stuff, I figured. I could draw into them right away then with Professor Oak and Challenge. Possibly. Maybe, because I'm putting them right on top of the deck. And I also got the Fender for the sake of such low HP Pokemon like um, the Dark Radicate and like only two Pokemon traders is I'm figuring that the uh, that I'll get the cards from the combo. Basically, hence why I'm well, so hence why I had such difficulty figuring out how I wanted to balance this deck. So yeah. <laughs> It's like, if I don't get the combo, will I be okay? Maybe? I'm not sure. We're gonna find out soon enough. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad deck otherwise, you can tell just by what I have. Um, we got Articuno, the legendary variety for that quick freeze. Also, you know, fighting resistance and stuff like that. It's also been nice to hit bench stuff. Um, Poliwag of this version causes paralysis, 10 damage as well. So it's pretty nice, 50 HP, so it's got some nice longevity. Twiddle, you cannot go wrong with the coin flip, but <laughs> uh, it's just, yeah, whatever you're gonna get, you're gonna get, it's gonna be nice, and Body Slam can cause paralysis, so say two energy, you know, if, if you use a double colorless, hoping that'll work out. But this, this one here, I didn't use in any energy removal builds because it's a stage two, but I thought maybe I'd be able to pull it off with this because, you know, the whole prize card picker dealio. I'm not gonna be using the water gun so much as I will be using the Whirlpool. Uh-huh. Discard one energy card attached to the Pokémon that gets hit by that Whirlpool. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I chose this seal for a little bit of variety as well, like I did that Dark Radicate. Uh, the Growl essentially increases its HP, so to speak, as you use it. And uh, the Ice Beam can cause paralysis 2 for 20. It's kind of... A little bit... It's okay, I guess. I would hope it did a little bit more damage, but it's alright. <laughs> um, and Dugong is a standard Dugong, because it works well with the double colorless, so... And yeah, that is about it for the deck. And now that I think I'm pleased with it, I can take my face away from the corner of shame and give it a shot. Here we go, Cassie... Yeah, lightning. But I have a grass weak water Pokemon in the form of the Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, so. And I also got the Articuno, so that might not be too big of a deal. We shall see. All I know is. I hope this deck works. <laughs> uh, I have built decks like this before IRL, but. You know, not, not actually in the games. I don't know how. Uh, I got this on the initial hand, that's pretty nice. Uh, so I don't know how uh, this will actually play. I've never actually used this in-game. So I don't know how I'm gonna... Uh, I better actually... Oh, that's right, because it it's still an opening turn. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how that's gonna uh, play out. Like, if I'm gonna be able to see the prize cards after I play it. 
Or, or I'm gonna have to write it down on the side or something like that, I'm not... <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. Uh, that Electabuzz could be kind of an issue to my Poliwag. I mean, sure, it's not double damage, but the Thundershock has got the... Yeah! Paralysis deal. Uh, I'm gonna energy removal that right away. Challenge. See if we can get something else out of this. Oh. Anyway, I should probably here come Team Rocket. Okay, so it didn't show me the prize cards outright, so... I guess I check it this way. Water Energy, Pokemon Trader, Polyrath, Polyrath. So I guess I... I don't... I don't know what I want out of that. And I got kind of, kind of an iffy opening hand in general. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going to try for the bubble in general, but... Uh, I want to... Pokemon trade into something, maybe? I'm just thinking when I am able to get a prize card, if I'm able to get a prize card, oh man, <laughs> that I would be able to, uh, uh, you know, if I were to trade something for the Rattata, I could then do that combo I talked about, since that's what the, the Dex idea is based around and all like that, so, eh, we'll see if I should really go for that or not, depends on the draw, I just got kind of a slow start here. I'm definitely going to evolve into Poliwhirl because I can null that issue there, and then I'll cause a status effect with Twiddle. I don't know if I should use Defender, though. It just seems like I should save that. But I don't think she'll be able to sleep, so she might be able to wake up from that. Hopefully she won't. Nice! Uh, Confusion would probably be the more ideal of the two, because, you know, it doesn't have the chance of recovering from Confusion, basically. So, yeah. Um... Let's go plop that on there. I should probably now do the Defender, just in case I don't get the Body Slam off. You know, Paralysis off, okay. Because she's probably going to go for the Thunder Punch then, and I need to keep Poliwhirl in there as long as I can. Um, you know, I don't know if I... I don't know which... Uh, like, when we get to the actual prize card picking, if the... Uh, um, if I'll actually- oh, Professor Oak, yes! If I'll actually be able to pick which which one I want out of this, like, will it actually show me the names like that? If not, it's the upper right corner one for Pokemon Trader. Uh... As I said, this is new to me, and it'll be new to you then, too. Uh, I'm gonna go put that on there, because I'll be- hopefully be able to keep my Poliwhirl around to be able to get to the one of those Polyrath in the prize cards, that would be most ideal. Uh, seal, seal. Or maybe I should use the trader for... well, there's Defender anyway. Just in case, Body Slam... no. But Poliwhirl will be able to make it for the turn, because of the Defender anyway. So if she dares to Thunder Punch, and she will... Tails to herself, so... That means a little extra bonus for me, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I... Well, I just I just had a dead draw there, as you've seen, because to see, if I play this, it's not really going to do anything. Uh, well, I don't know if I, I'm in really good shape with... Uh, should I... Uh, I mean, yeah, I have to body slam, but... I don't know if I should retreat Poliwhirl to try and get Poliwrath later. Because, uh, yeah, I, I could just pull the Poliwrath here right then and now. But that one might not be quite as useful as a Water Energy or something, you know what I mean? Or the Trader. So, yeah, you, you actually can see which one you're picking. Despite them being clearly face up there, I'm hitting Select L. <laughs> because it's the. Uh, my start button, excuse me. Uh, how you have it. Map, and yeah, uh. So I. I don't know if I want the, the Polyrath. I, I might want want that. So I'm, I think I'm gonna take it. I think I'm gonna. It's, it's sort of like a shot in the dark because I don't know if it'll make it for the turn. It, it did make it. But then it's not gonna get that much HP as I start whirlpooling, so. Uh, I do wanna put it in play though, in general. So put that on seal and whirlpool that. So now we got something going, but it took a while, and as a result, kind of 
kind of took a lot to get to get to this point, but... Uh, oh, I should have grabbed the traitor, dang it! <laughs> I told you I'm new to this! <laughs> I'll be fine. We'll be fine, I think. Uh, put that on seal. Whirlpool, please heads. Thank you! Doesn't matter. This is going to be go going to the discard pile anyway. And now, this was the traitor, right? Yes. Okay, so if I get... Uh, some sort of Pokemon, any sort of Pokemon, I can go for Dugong next, I suppose? Or I could go for the Rattata to show you the combo, but I have more games to show you that combo anyway. Uh, if I get heads, I win. Yeah! So things are looking up here. <laughs> and... That's the other Polyrath. Just remember, they're both my Polyrath are in the prize cards. I wouldn't have known that if not for... Here comes Team Rocket, though. <laughs> And Jacob, let's go splash around the water versus water. The tides have clashed together, and well, we'll, we'll find out how, how badly they clash after he gets his opening hand here. <laughs> uh, Polyweight, but I got Rattata. That's part of the combo, so I guess I should lead with the Polywag. Uh, Rattata's got a free retreat cost, though, by the way, so I could still put out Rattata if I want to just do a quick attack. Um, don't worry about the Voltar, remember the Poliwag is, uh, weak to grass, not lightning, so... There should be no ire with the little bitty tackles. Uh-huh. Just be able to outlast it, and maybe even, uh, bubble it to doom. <laughs> Depends on the situation. Let's see if we get heads all day and all night, like the computers usually do on me. But, nope, no, good so far. So far. <laughs> Clear. And water. Don't have Here Comes Team Rocket yet, but I just wipe out the other energy on that Volt Orb when the time is right. Uh, maybe I'll put that on there in case I get a Rattata Bubble. I mean, excuse me, get a Raticate. <laughs> Dark Raticate. And attack with it, because I'll probably end up getting some other Rattata along the way anyway. Probably somewhere along there. It's Should I try for the... Also on there, just a case of a Poliwhirl? Because I really don't have that much to do right now. I just, I just kind of have what I have, you know? Uh, Poliwhirl, that's fine. Not that big of a deal. It's just going to be a reattachment, basically. Water. <laughs> I already have one in hand, so... So now watch, if that's going to brick, because it's going to get all water energy for the rest, rest of the game here. Alright, so I can't, couldn't t Team Rocket my prize cards yet, so I'm going to take a guess here, Water Energy, eh? And I might, might, just might be able to... Like, if I get Poliwhirl, I might be able to wipe out the whole stream of everything quick enough, but... Wait, hold on a sec. Do I want to wipe out Eevee's energy? Because that Sand Attack could be kind of an issue. Uh... Hmm... I just feel like I'm getting dead draws in a way. <laughs> well, and no paralysis, but I thought about putting Defender on there just in case. That was like a surprise plus power. I don't remember what he has in his deck, but... Yeah, okay. I figured Rattata would be sufficient enough in case... Okay, there's Poliworld. Nice! Alright! Now we've got something going here-ish. I think I will use Defender, though, just to be extra safe. And cause paralysis, so I guess I didn't need a Defender, but just never knew. Never knew what was gonna come. <laughs> Alright, so that is gonna be KO. Ooh! I probably should have played this next turn in case of paralysis hits, but I kinda wanna get it powered up, because maybe I can start attacking with that critter as well. And, oh, maybe I should have put Defender on Poliwhirl that turn. Mm. Water again! <laughs> Man, energy... Uh, well, I got the water anyway, so maybe it's not that bad. Energy retrieval. So at least he's powered up with uh, the critters he wants. And bite to finish off Poliwhirl. That's unfortunate for me. Um, Now it makes me wonder if I shouldn't just 
hold off with Rattata and power up Articuno. See, you know, possibly, maybe. Actually, <laughs> might as well do that. And then, no, basically one for 20 because of that double colorless, which is respectable, I would say. But, you know, the weak HP of Dark Radicate, not so good. And it's got Whirlpool. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Told you that Dark Vaporeon's got the power. Um, I'll use Defender. Kind of set that up. Maybe I should put that on the Poliwag and call it a turn. Because the Articuno, you know, it does the 40. So it might just finish off the Dark Vaporeon outright. I'm just mainly looking for a, uh, a stall tactic, I guess you could say. There's water. Is a is it free switch? No, it's one switch dang. <laughs> As to say, it's not not like Rattata's free switch. Oh, he played nothing on his turn. All right, you pick your card. I'll place my Kuno. Yeah, I'm not really getting that combo off like I wanted to, but I'm just play it normally, I suppose. If this hits a Dark Vaporeon, we're good. Eh. Well, actually, that still might be good. Might Whirlpool though. We shall see. Hopefully, he won't. Okay. I was going to say, with the AI, you never know what they're going to do, really. And, alright, Ice Breath. Uh, if he would have Whirlpooled that, he would have been in better shape. And that takes care of the Staryu. And Poliwhirl. Please don't Whirlpool. <laughs> Just keep, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Just keep going for the bites. Because, yeah, that Whirlpool definitely would have been a better choice there, but... AI, what can you do? <laughs> I would have probably had something else... Uh, set up in time by the time the Articuno would have gotten knocked out anyway, so not that big of a deal. Clyde, you are up next with your spooky ghostlies, I think they were, I thought, maybe, might be, maybe, anyway. <laughs> uh, I got so many basic Pokemon, yet I'm not getting that many in my opening hands, it's kind of weird. Not that I can really worry that much about them, because they got a lot of HP in general, but Anyway, challenge. I'm gonna definitely go for that dugong. Rattata, yes! That's one piece of the combo. And we'll bubble. I think I'll also go for the uh, Confusion Twiddle on the next turn. Because that can really throw off the Kangaskhan's draws. Hopefully, uh, thank you. I was gonna say, hopefully no basic Pokémon. Because uh, yeah, the fetch could potentially get him a basic Pokémon before I am set up and good to go with my power. That Articuno could cause some nice paralysis though, so let's give that a shot first. Heads please? Nope. Never get heads when I please. <laughs> but I will go for said Twiddle. And Confusion, nice! That's what I was hoping for. Because it stays on the Kangaskhan and basically, yeah, I was gonna say basically guarantees that he, he, he would not want to really get it set up in that way, uh, like do, do do draws with it, because it would be better off utilizing the uh, uh, high HP of the Kangaskhan. Uh, I think I'm going to go Polyrath on the next turn, but for now I'm going to Body Slam, which did not give me Paralysis, but actually come to think of it, that might be the better, because I think that would have healed it off the Confusion if I recall correctly, so, so I'm going to put that on there, I'm going to trade the Dugong. For Polygrath. Here we go, put that in play, and I, yeah, I guess Whirlpool, just in case they have a uh, surprise Comet Punch or possible Retreat, if he gets lucky. Hopefully he doesn't get a basic though, Oh no basic! No basic! <laughs> so we win. That was... Simple and quick enough. You're still not really showing the combo of the stack, but you understand how it works if I don't get it off. Uh, chances are I'll be able to show you it somewhere around in here. Brook, gonna go watery water time. Let's see if. Oops. <laughs> Just say, let's see how the tides are with this one. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we may never find out if we just keep flipping that. I will shoot. Uh, I was to say, if we just keep getting uh, issues. Uh, I could go Pokemon Trader into something. Ah, uh, that's nice. 
Oh, Professor Oak. Nice. Okay, then I probably should trade Polyrath in for a Poliwag and see if I can get that set up before I Professor Oak or anything like that. So we're gonna do that. Polywag and play. That Lapras has got a lot of HP there. And hopefully we'll be able to hold off with just those two before we, uh, Professor Oak. Because we want to get that Wrath out if possible. <laughs> uh, Dark Star me. Sure, sure, go ahead. And Water Gun. So I'm going to energy removal that so it doesn't overpower Rattata too quickly. Remember, Rattata's got the uh, free switch as well. So here's the Poliwhirl, energy removal there, and we should be good, in theory. <laughs> there could be anything that could go wrong. Horrendous coin flips for one thing. <laughs> and water gun. And we end? Well, she ends. Articuno, nice. I'm definitely gonna try and freeze it. Yes! So that means Rattata is definitely safe then. Put Polyrath in play and draw seven with Professor Oak. Looking good so far. Come on, here comes Team Rocket. Yes! The combo has been completed! So now what we can do here is take a look at those prize cards and I can use the Rattata to swap prize cards as I see fit. I don't know what I should swap though. <laughs> Uh, let's see what I got in hand here. How about I first energy removal that Lapras before I before I get a little hasty here, and then put Dark Eradicate in play to increase the HP. Maybe go for that Hyper Fang. Possibly, maybe that would be nice. I wouldn't count on it though. Um. Hmm. I'm just trying to look at what's in play before I make my move. Uh... Oh, I just realized I messed up the... because I got rid of my Rotata. So I can't do the prize card swap now. Whoops, well, I'm just mainly going for the knockout anyway. Uh, I'm thinking I should go for the challenge, which is the upper left one. So, Hyper Fang heads, please! Yeah! Thank you! Thank you! Upper left, yes. <laughs> Figured a little extra draw power couldn't hurt in such a situation. But it will be slapping, probably. So Dark Radicate- Oh, wow, it's not! I figured Dark Radicate might be on its way out, but... Uh-uh. Okay, so I- No, I'm not- Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Uh, I'm gonna trade the Poliwhirl in for the Rattata. Assuming there's another one in the deck. Yeah, there is, because you know the prize cards. Put that in there. And put that on the Polyrath. Now, I can basically use the Rattata to power up the Polyrath using water energy. See, Pokemon Power, we go Trickery. Here we go. We grab, this was the water energy. We'll put that on top of the deck, so we'll draw it next turn. I already attached one to Polyrath this turn anyway. And hopefully heads again. Yes! I could get used to this! <laughs> this is the water, right? Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't tell me which is which in the prize cards. I would not be like that in real life <laughs> if you're playing a deck like that. Uh, it's gonna easily knock out Dark Radicate, but then I'll just retaliate with my um, Nolly Wrath, and you can take your Goldeen, have a good time. Here's my Poly Wrath. And there's the water. I should probably put Defender on that. I don't know if, I don't think I should put both of them on there though, it's just 10 damage. And Water Gun. And I finish off with Whirlpool on the next turn, because that does 3 for 30, which is pretty weak. As I said, I'd rather not use that. It's more for the energy removal properties. And Waterfall. So with that, that will be another knockout. And I might actually be able to finish her off relatively smoothly. Uh, but what do I... What do I wait, wait, did that... Hand... Hand what? <laughs> hand the Desert Oak. How does that... How does that work? Like... Oh, it uses the last... Last value of the card that you hovered over, and then replaces the first four letters with hand. 
<laughs> Why does it do that? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, oops, that's right. So, I'm just trying to think of what I want to uh, grab with that, though. Probably... the it Defender? In that sort of situation, so let's go ahead and Whirlpool. Doesn't matter what energy, they're both the same, it's gonna be knocked out anyway. And... Oh, I pressed down twice, duh! <laughs> well, I already got Defender in hand, so I'm okay. Uh, oh, I win anyway, because he doesn't have any sort of basic Pokémon, so... Might as well just Whirlpool and end the game anyway. So yeah, the uh, one that I wanted to pick was this one. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. I wasn't going to use Defender anyway. It was just a 10 horn attack anyway, so. Alright, number 4 is done. Velocini. Hopefully he doesn't have the Grass Critters. <laughs> Again. Um, oh, he's using the Fire. Oh, that might be bad for him. <laughs> Depending on if he's not able to get the Dark Charizard out quick enough to put a sweep. Uh, then I'm going to put pressure on him with Poliwag, the double damage bubble. So it's basically 1 for 20, assuming he doesn't have something colorless. Oh. He's got Magmar. Oh, that's his only critter. Interesting. Uh, Kangaskhan, never mind. <laughs> oh, and Mr. Mime too. So neutral damage ruins the uh, double damage. That's all right. He's got that in all of his decks early, which is the thing of that. It's, uh, it's, I guess it's more impactful in this sort of situation than otherwise. Uh, some Traitor would be nice. I thought about putting Breeder in this deck, but I figured with the, the way that I can pick cards, I, th I figured it'd be okay. Got heads? And heads, yes! <laughs> this is my day! <laughs> and... Lost his way, Dark Charmeleon. Yeah, he's going for that Dark Charizard as quick as possible. As I said, the sweep. Right, we'll see if that ends up being a factor. Because he doesn't have a Charmander yet. So, um... Might do Kangaskhan for the fetching. Uh, I should put that on seal for now. Head flip. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I thought about energy removaling the Magmar, but I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know exactly what he's gonna be going for here. Unsuccessful. Bill, that's gonna it's guaranteed to be successful. And Magmar, okay, so he's going for the poison. And unsuccessful. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Rattata. If I had Team Rocket I could combo that, but for now I'm just gonna have to leave that as is. Energy removal lap, just in case. And bubble. So I got the heads. But, you know, just just in case with the energy removal. And Gangasyam still doesn't have a Charmander though, so I think we are still in decent shape. Challenge, he won't accept it. So let's just draw two. Poliwag, Dugong. Uh, uh, Dugong could be handy, but I'm kind of lacking in the energy department here, so. Uh, got heads again though. Nice, nice. Alright, so now we wait. Energy retrieval for fire. One fire? Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's like, don't you have to discard it? Or maybe you're just lacking energy in general? Like, yeah, you trade one of the other cards in your hand. Hmm. I should probably put uh, Defender on the Poliwag for the sake of safety. In case something goes wrong. Nothing went wrong there, but just the case. The smog would uh, ruin my bubble chances. There's a Charmander. Oh, jeez. He might actually gather fire into the Charizard then, too. Oh, Poliwhirl. That's tempting to go into because I have. Yeah, I will. Because the Body Slam. And then we go Body Slam. Put that pressure on him. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna pick because I don't have Here Comes Team Rocket. Oh, challenge is nice. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely gonna go for the Dark Charmeleon immediately, I would bet. Maybe not. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I was sure he was gonna use the, the or put Dark Charmeleon to play because of the, uh, uh, just to get Dark Charizard out as quick as possible, and oh, I just realized Poliwhirl was actually in the, in the red there. <laughs> um, 
Hmm, let's go for challenge first, see if I can get some energy removal for that Kangaskhan. Yes, here comes Team Rocket! Now I should see what I can grab out of this. Double colorless challenge. I should probably swap for that. Just in case uh, Professor Oak doesn't work out for me here. Put that in play. Um, yeah, put that on there, but the thing about it is I, I need, to, uh, need to have uh, something going really quick here. <laughs> Just in general. So I got challenge as one of the uh, seven cards I'll be drawing with this, as you know, because I put it on top of the deck. It's challenge. Uh, it's like drawing eight. And we're going to energy removal that Kangaskhan. I don't want it to combat punch again. That's what I was aiming for. And I have the... Uh... Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Does he, have... does he use double colorless? I don't remember. <laughs> because if he does, he could possibly still wipe out my Polyrath. I should probably do that just to be safe. Uh, as I always say, you should always assume that, that the opponent has double colorless energy. And Whirlpool the third energy card away, so that puts him down three energy cards and out of range of the double colorless. So yeah, he doesn't have any energy. That's good, otherwise he would have probably attached it. <laughs> Put that on Dugong. And Whirlpool the last bit. Hopefully that means he's completely out of energy, and hopefully he also puts out Mist and Mime, so I can uh, remove that neutral damage from play. And he got four, draw four cards out of us, so he's probably got energy now, but... Oh, uh, yeah, why isn't he putting out the... Dark Charmeleon, he just has the Charm... Maybe because he wants to attack a Flametail? I don't know. Uh... I already discarded the other Polyrath, but might still be wise to do that for the future. Uh, Defender in case of Charmander. And Whirlpool. I could use Water Gun as well, that'll work just fine, but... I think we are in decent position and... Oh, I forgot which... <laughs> I forgot which was which! Uh, this one. Poly... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just took a random guess. Yeah, Dark Charmeleon. Okay, now he's playing it. Maybe he just wanted to get uh, Dark Charizard going or something. Or like, maybe he, he was waiting until he drew Dark Charizard before he... I don't know. Uh, probably should... Get the other Poliwhirl going then. And... Hopefully I can wipe out that energy. Yes! Yes! No double damage, because neutral damage, Mr. Mine, but still, yes! <laughs> oh, there it is. So yeah, I guess that's what he was waiting for, it was just a surprise with Dark Charizard or something like that. Uh, dead weight is here come to you, Rocket. Uh, I guess plop that on the Poliwhirl, because I got Professor Oak in case I need more energy anyway, so... Yeah, Whirlpool. And hopefully Poliwrath will be okay. Oh, I, I forgot to check! Uh, just pick one. <laughs> Got water energy. So I'll probably get one heads off the continuous fireball and knock it out. Hopefully he gets two heads, actually. Yes! Because that basically energy removals himself. And that puts his Dark Charizard in a terrible position. And... I will take advantage of that with my Dugong. <laughs> uh, as a matter of fact... It's got 80 HP. I'm thinking I should maybe attack with uh, Ice Beam first. Hmm. I think I should. Yes! Because <laughs> then I can keep Dugong as fresh as possible from a potential Nail Flick. If he's going to use a Nail Flick. Oh, are you really attaching a Dark Charizard when you know I'm going to use Aurora Beam on the next turn? Well, you're lost. <laughs> so yeah, he's really got to be lacking in energy now. Oh, I forgot to- ah, I keep forgetting to check! <laughs> I'm still winning now, but I keep forgetting to check. Uh, back to the deck, Charmander. Yeah, it's, I probably would have done the same because it's some sort of basic Pokémon. And Mr. Mime is kind of like his last resort in this sort of situation, because it doesn't, doesn't have anything else. I'm just gonna end up uh, wiping out the Mr. Mime and then causing double damage. Uh, from there on out, so maybe he should have retreated Mr. Mime instead of, yeah. I don't know. 
In any case, I should probably actually check these now. Double colorless and dugong. Handong. Handle colorless energy. <laughs> so dugong. The, I probably want to go to the bottom left one. Uh, just for the sake of uh, possibly getting another polyworld later, later on going there. And there goes neutral damage, because he only carries one Mr. Mime in all of his decks. So, there we go. One more to go. He's kind of in a very stuck position now because of the... Uh, he probably should have had Magmar, actually. Switch to Mag... Ah, I was going to say switch to Magmar because of the smoke screen, giving him a possible chance of surviving the turn, but... I guess maybe it wouldn't have mattered because I could have just switched to something else. You know, I just keep switching back and forth. Whoops. Wanted to go. There we go. And, uh... Yeah, nothing really else to do but win. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. So, yeah, this deck isn't too shabby. It's just that uh, you gotta get the combo going to really utilize it. And that's why I have sown so many copies of each. Three Rattata, three uh, Here Comes Team Rocket. Because you don't want to be flooded with them. <laughs> Based on, yeah, so you just want to use them to support your other strategy that's going on primarily. So, yeah. Alright, that is a win, and no corner of shame for me. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I get the next coin. In theory.